Pranay purchased a helmet for rupees thousand, but he sold it to his friend for rupees twelve hundred. How much profit did Pranay earn? Profit and loss has many formulae. Here we go. Let's solve the type one questions. Let us understand the different definitions involved in profit and loss. What is a cost price? The price at which the goods are purchased is known as a cost price, and it is represented by CP. What is a selling price? The price at which the goods are sold is known as selling price, and it is represented by SP. When does the seller get profit? When the selling price is greater than the cost price, then the seller gains profit. And when does loss occur? If the cost price is greater than the selling price, or if the selling price is less than the cost price, then the seller is incurred with loss. There is another important concept we need to learn in profit and loss. That is marked price. Marked price is nothing but the price before the discount. or the price which is marked on the product we so call it as mrp this marked price is also known as listed price we have covered all the basic definitions in profit and loss now let's understand a few formulae the formula for profit or gain is given by the difference between the selling price and cost price similarly the formula for loss is given by difference between cost price and selling price how do we find the percentage of profit or gain the formula for it is gain into 100 by cost price here gain can be obtained from this formula then how to determine the percentage of loss loss into 100 by cost price both the percentage of profit and the percentage of loss is mainly dependent on cost price Now the formula for selling price is hundred plus gain percentage by hundred into cost price. If gain percentage and cost price is given, we can use this formula in order to get the selling price. Similarly, if loss percentage and cost price is known, we can find the selling price by using this formula. Now let's understand the formula for cost price. If you know the gain percentage. then cost price formula is nothing but reciprocal of the selling price formula that is 100 by 100 plus gain percent into selling price the only difference in the formula is we take selling price instead of cost price and we reciprocate the selling price formula this is when the gain percentage is known what about the formula for cost price when loss percentage is known reciprocate this and substitute selling price instead of cost price there are few questions asked in profit and loss where discount plays a very key role when we have to find discount percentage the formula is discount by marked price into 100 your marked price is nothing but the price before discount and the price which is marked on the product make sure you are perfect with each and every formula here so that you can solve the questions pretty easily In this type, let us determine the percentage of profit. Samant bought a microwave oven and paid ten percent less than the original price. He sold it with thirty percent profit on the price he had paid. What percentage of profit did Samant earn on the original price? Let's solve this. Let us understand each and every statement clearly. Samant bought a microwave and paid ten percent less than the original price. We don't know the original price. So let's take it as rupees hundred. If he pays ten percent less than the original price, his cost price will be hundred minus ten, which is equal to rupees ninety. Because from hundred, if you remove ten percent, it is obviously ninety. We have achieved the cost price. Now in the next statement, he sold it with thirty percent profit on the price he had paid. He had paid ninety rupees, isn't it? and he has sold it for 30% profit to what he has paid so selling price will be 130% of rupees 90 because the original price itself is 100 if 
If it's getting a profit of 30%, it should be 130. That is why I have taken here 130. Now on solving this, you'll be getting rupees 130 by 100 into 90, which will be equal to rupees 117. In order to get the percentage of profit, let's subtract original price from the selling price. Therefore, gain percentage is equal to 117 minus 100. This will be equal to 17%. Is asking the percentage of profit someone earn on the original price. That is why we have subtracted the original price from the selling price. The actual formula for profit is selling price minus cost price, isn't it? Hope you had understood this question. Let's solve another question. A trader marked his goods at 20% above the cost price. He sold half of the stock at the marked price, one quarter at a discount of 20% on the marked price and rest at a discount of 40% on the marked price. His total gain is. Let's solve this. From the first statement, a trader marked his goods at 20% above the cost price. We don't know the cost price, so let's take it as rupees 100. The trader marked all his goods at 20% above the cost price. Therefore, marked price of all goods is equal to rupees 120. Now, in the second statement, he sold half of the stock at the marked price. If marked price of all goods is rupees 120, then half of it will be equal to rupees 60. And in the next case, one quarter at a discount of 20% on the marked price. So if half is rupees 60, then 1 by 4th will be equal to rupees 30. Because one quarter is equal to 1 by 4, isn't it? And the rest at a discount of 40% on the marked price. What is the rest? Half is gone, another quarter is gone and the remaining is another quarter. And this will also be equal to rupees 30. Now, while selling half of the price, there is no discount involved. But when selling the first quarter, there is 20% discount. And while selling the rest, there is 40% discount. Now, let's understand the selling price. The first one is 60 plus 80% of rupees 30. Because quarter is rupees 30 and 20% is the discount. So, you have taken it 80. So, the remaining is 1 by 4th. And the discount is 40%. So here we have to take 60% of rupees 30 again. Because we have achieved rupees 30. As the discount is 40%, we have taken 40 from 100 and 60 is remaining. So on adding these three, we get rupees 60 plus 24 plus 18. And this is equal to rupees 102. We have got the selling price and we know the cost price. He's asking for the total gain. What is the formula for gain? Gain is equal to selling price minus cost price, isn't it? So this is equal to 102 minus 100. So his total gain is 2%. This is the answer. Hope you are clear with the calculation of profit percentage.